Shigeru Miyamoto was raised in the city of Sanobe in Kyoto. As a child, he did a lot of exploring in the forest of Kyoto. These experiences greatly influenced Miyamoto's works. Miyamoto graduated from the Kanazawa College of Industrial Arts in Japan, with no job lined up afterwards. His father helped him get a job detailing arcade cabinets at a novelty and video game company called Nintendo. In 1980, Nintendo released a game called Radar Scope for the arcades in Japan and North America. Unfortunately for Nintendo, the product was a flop, and they were left with thousands of unused Radar Scope cabinets. Nintendo decided to give the unknown artist Shigeru Miyamoto a shot at designing a game to salvage their unused cabinets. Nintendo's move to have a lead game designer without any computer science knowledge was a risky prospect. But the gamble they made paid off. That finished title was called Donkey Kong. The game featured a blue and red carpenter named Jumpman, who saved the damsel in distress Pauline from a giant ape. After this big hit, Miyamoto and his co-designer Gunpei Yokoi created the sequels Donkey Kong Jr. and Donkey Kong 3. His success earned him work on other Nintendo titles like Excitebike and Devil World. Miyamoto worked on several different games over the years, including Ice Climbers and Kid Icarus alongside Yokoi. Nintendo was faring very well these years, with Miyamoto at the reins of most titles. Home video games, on the other hand, were in a steady decline. The most popular console at the time was the Atari 2600. It was doing very poorly in the North American market, as video games were viewed as a passing fad. Nintendo decided to get their hand in the home gaming market by creating a console of their own, the Nintendo Entertainment System. Nintendo wanted to create a superstar game to package with the NES. And Miyamoto did not disappoint. In 1985, the Nintendo Entertainment System was released with the game Super Mario Brothers paired with it. Jumpman had been given a name. The smash success of this game single-handedly revived home video games in North America as many Americans had the Italian plumber and his console at the top of their Christmas lists. In 1986, Sega came out with their own console to compete with the NES, the Sega Master System, with Sega's own mascot, Alex Kidd. Miyamoto's mascot, however, was waiting for his next success. In 1988, Super Mario 3 was released. This masterpiece of gaming had perfected the platformer to an art form, a beautifully designed game with incredible pacing, boss battles, and just plain fun. A year later, Sega's failed Master System had a successor, the Sega Genesis. Considered a more mature console, the Genesis had more mature themes and violence than Nintendo, as well as more advanced graphical capabilities. Nintendo 2 had a console in the works, the Super Nintendo. Nintendo and Sega had started the first video game console war. The Super Nintendo was kicked off with Miyamoto's F-Zero racing game. That Christmas, they released Super Mario World, a surreal re-envisioning of the Mario series. Meanwhile, Sega was creating a rival to the plumber Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog. Released the next summer, Sonic was an edgier and faster protagonist. With a marketing scheme that proclaimed, Sega does what Nintendo don't. A competing Nintendo released Shigeru's Zelda A Link to the Past, a new envisioning of the classic game, as well as Super Mario RPG, Donkey Kong Country, and many others. Unfortunately for Nintendo, Sega had the upper hand by the end of that console life cycle. Eager to get back on top, Nintendo was working towards a new CD add-on to the Super Nintendo. Likewise, Sega was working with Philips to eventually release the Sega CD, while Nintendo worked with Sony. And together, they created a prototype for a Super Nintendo CD add-on. Upon the first showcasing of the prototype, Nintendo made a press release stating that they would no longer be working towards a CD add-on for the Super Nintendo. Sony was infuriated, and the plot thickened with Sony plotting to release their own console. 